now we are doing Resident Evil, and only two of oh, the three of our guys here all have any familiarity with it. Nebels is just memes strictly. That's right. <laughs> memes and memes. Whatever. Yes, else. that that will. Uh, yeah, that's a uh, part of the uh, the challenge <laughs> for Neville. Just drawing what he knows. I will be restricted to what I know, and that will be. I mean, I love Resident Evil. It's definitely one of my top franchises. I haven't played all of them. I've played the last few, um, like the two and three remakes. Um, oh no, I haven't played the three remake. remake. Yes. And um, seven and eight, and uh... wait, they made an eighth Resident Evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a uh, that's Village, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, that that's one. that one. Yeah, 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 that's the one with where everyone simps over the big scary mommy dummy vampire lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Which the one can... with the daughters who are entirely bugs. Yeah. Who wasn't even uh, the main villain. It... Of course not. Yeah. I don't know, the game kind of fell off after the the Dumitresk <laughs> mansion. Like, hmm, hmm, no titty. I'm no longer interested. <laughs> mm, Heisenberg, no titty. It's in to see a lot of people in, on Twitter who liked Heisenberg, though. I thought he was poorly acted. I mean, this, this, is, is, the... Like, this, is, the, this is the case for most <laughs> The first you get... Have you seen yeah. the dialogue and voice acting in the first game? Yeah, yeah, fair point. I think I think everybody has. <laughs> I think uh, the first Resident Evil game I played was four, and I think I messed around a little bit. It ended uh, six with my with my buddy Kurt. This dude here is playing Resident Evil Six. Jesus. <laughs> Honestly, if you play co-op, it's not really that bad. Yeah, that's how I played it. Is anyone kind of familiar with the urban legend of the Resident Evil 2.1, I think? I, uh, uh, yes, I, I watched, uh, Justin Wang's video on it. Shout out to Justin Wang. <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> Please support us. <laughs> we need it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you sound desperate, buddy. You gotta act like you don't even need it. Uh. Don't even need it. Fuck Justin Wang. <laughs> Whoa! All right, that's going all the way in the other direction. Whoa! Oops. What's the whole deal with two point one? I don't get it. Uh, basically, Capcom didn't like the direction the original Resident Evil Two was going, so so they're like, uh, so they just decided to outright scrap and start fresh. So the. Conspiracy is basically, or the urban legend is basically that there is an original version of it floating around. Uh, oh well, no, it's not an urban legend. It's a uh, it. There, there was an actual thing, and it's uh, people have made it available. Oh okay. Yeah. So so what's different about it then? The story is a lot different. The characters, a lot of the characters were had like different roles and stuff, right? So it's entirely different. And then Capcom just decided. Uh, they wanted to do something completely different, which I guess people ended up liking anyway. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. From what people played of uh, Resident Evil uh, two, uh, uh, one point five, is that it was actually just kind of boring. Those odd moments where Capcom actually had a good idea. And back in the nineties, they were still kind of on top of their game. If I remember correctly, Leon's not even in one point five. Well, well, he is and he isn't. He was called Grant Bitman, if you remember. Bit Grantman. Yeah, which uh, Justin's video on it, he said it's just kind of a wienery name. Yeah. He looks like what would happen if you just turned Grant and Mahara white. What? The, wait, just Leon? No, uh, Grant Bitman. It sounds like what would happen if you turned Grant and Mahara white. Wait, was that the Asian guy from Mythbusters? Yeah, yeah, that's Grant and Mahara. I don't know if this is true, but I think I remember reading somewhere that Leon's appearance was supposed to be based off David Bowie. Hmm. I can kind of see it. I guess he's basically Bowie if he were normal. And like brunette. <laughs> There's an image for you, normal Bowie. I don't think nobody wants a normal Bowie. Wanted normal Bowie. We loved him while he was weird as fucking hell. 
But yeah, I guess like you could say Leon is like alternate universe David Bowie where he's in the States and decided to like buckle down and get a real get a job instead of pursuing music. I kind of like that he was such like a radical departure from from Chris because like in the first game like yeah the stars were kind of in over their head once they got into the mansion but they were supposed they were kind of portrayed as being capable like at least knowing what they were doing like with Leon he ends up having to deal with a zombie outbreak on literally his first day on the job you do not get more in over your head I drew a uh... Barry Burton, oh, uh, no. eating a jail sandwich. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, that is a reference I did indeed. Barry seemed to like you just drop off to the map after Resident Evil 3. Uh, he was in Revelations 2 and had a really prominent part, which I'm glad they did, though. They really expanded on his character, uh, in Revelations 2 and, uh, I actually really like those games. So I have a question, because my exposure is almost entirely Um, so... Is there any connection between, like, the Ethan Winner stuff and everything that happens beforehand? Because just as a casual observer, I don't see an obvious connection. No. Oh. There isn't? Not as far as I'm aware. But doesn't Chris show up in, like, Resident Evil 8, though? Uh, well, yeah. Like, I think I saw, like, umbrella iconography there, but I don't know if there's much of a connection beyond that. I'm probably mixing it up with one of the 3D movies, but there's, like, a place where, like, Umbrella, like, got, like, their source for a lot of their experiments and stuff, right? I think that's one of the 3D movies, uh, it could be, uh, confusing it. I mean, it's still, like, sort of connected just in the sense that... It's the same world and the same kind of, you know, evil corporations and whatever are involved. And motherfuckers grinding up herbs to seal up wounds. Yeah. Sure. <sighs> Can you tell Nubbles from California, guys? <laughs> I didn't even draw that connection. Brett, would it shock you to know that I have never once smoked weed? Not really, but I had to uh, make, but I had to make <laughs> the joke. But I had to make the uh, joke. So, Zeno, is this one of the G-Virus mutants? I don't know, I'm just sort of making it up as I go along. I had a buddy like 10 years ago who was like really into Resident Evil, and he hated Resident Evil 5 because of what they did with Wesker. Oh, uh, yeah, the, the end was pretty dumb there. Well, because he says like up until then, like Wesker had like always been like the guy in the shadows pulling the strings. Hmm. And then... He said, like, when he when he was playing Resident Evil 5 and they get to that flashback scene at the, you know, the mansion, and Wesker does that dramatic villain when face turn. Mm. And he's, he, he said, I nearly we burst out yelling, Mr. Bigglesworth! <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the original Resident Evil 4 and Ashley had... Her ears looked huge with that, that, like, stupid haircut she had. I'm pretty sure it was just the graphics. Okay, now, since the trailer for the remake came out, every, everybody's simping over Ashley Coot. And I think they forget that she was fucking annoying in the original. Isn't she also, like, 12 or something? No! No. No, no I think she was, like, in, I think she was college age. Back when I first, when I first had my YouTube channel, like, there was... One uh, animator I used to watch who would make Silent Hill and Resident Evil animations that were kind of comedic. And when Only kind of. They didn't always get a laugh out of me, but the, but when they did, man, I was laughing my ass off. There was one that had, there was one segment that had all of Ashley screaming. Or she's yelling, Leon, help, help, help. And, the, and it's all a bunch of different gags of her needing help. And one of them is her at a chalkboard. And she can't add two plus two. <laughs> she she gets stuck under in her bed. She yells, "Step, bro, hell!" <laughs> <laughs> I I get the feeling that's what's gonna start happening. Well, well, people start doing it. Uh, I said it first. <laughs> Original concept: donut steel. <laughs>
Do you know that actually uh, she has the same voice actress as Sandy from Spongebob? Uh, yes, I did know that. I actually think these are some of my best sketches yet. Leon, help me secure the Krabby Patty secret formula! I miss Jill, but she makes a great sandwich. Uh, Brett, can you throw me some reference for Ashley? I have no idea what you're doing. Jesus! <laughs> are uh, we yeah. sure this isn't the antagonist of the game? Stop talking shit about Ashley, she can- she'll hear you. <laughs> She's in your walls. That's what she <laughs> fucking looks like. She looks like a fucking duplicate from the Mandela catalog. Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, do you know the, uh, Neville, do you know the meme about, uh, Chris Redfield trying to get Leon to, uh... Yes, I do know about that. That was actually what I was trying to do first, but I wasn't sure how to get it across. I think I'll come back to it later. Him like choking the shit out of Leon. Like, you will save my. Date my sister, Leon! Oh, Neville, what the hell are you doing here? I'm scared. <laughs> oh, God, are they called duplicates? I know it's from What do you mean, duplicate? Wait, um, what the. What, what the hell is a duplicate? Alternates. They're called alternate. I was talking about, uh. I was talking about Randall and Cat Log to his fucking. What's her face reminds me of those? <laughs> Did they ever explain why Umbrella was in, uh, was performing experiments on a literal zombie virus? Uh, yeah, uh... Are they just trying to weaponize it or something? <laughs> yeah, they're trying to make super soldiers on them. Yeah. yeah, there's like some deep lore when it comes to, uh, you know, Umbrella, and it dates back, you know, obviously decades. I actually think that was explored a bit in, like, the... Beginning of Resident Evil 5. So, like, what's the whole point of them trying to m trying to make a zombie virus? Just make a bioweapon? Yeah, kinda. Yeah, fact, <laughs> yes. That's, they're trying to make bioweapons, and they're trying to make, like, super soldiers. It's why the... As far as I understand, it's why the virus always, like, mutates people a lot. But aren't they supposed to be a pharmaceutical company? Yeah. What makes you think that would stop them from doing weird evil shit? I know. <laughs> we, we, we all know the true person uh, behind Umbrella, uh, Bill Gates. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, oh. I, was gonna, I was gonna say Fauci. Uh. Actually, what was up with turning Wesker into Agent Smith? What, like there's a bunch of duplicates of him, or what? No, it's just like by... By Resident Evil 5, like, yeah, I know, he had, like, he had, like, the T-Virus or some other shit in his body. And, but, by Resident Evil 5, he was doing, like, Matrix shit, and he was dressed like a villain out of the Matrix 2. Well, uh, you know, Matrix was popular. And, dude, like, when did, it, when did Resident Evil 5 come out? Uh, too late to be ripping off the Matrix. 2009, yeah, by that time, like, it was definitely too late to be ripping off the Matrix. Actually, now that I think about it, I think the I think the movie universe got even more insane than the video games. Yeah, probably. Well, I think by the third one, it was a full-blown apocalypse. Yeah, the movies were something else. <laughs> well, I mean, like the first one, like it's a good, it's a decent zombie movie that just happens to have a few references to the game, even though it doesn't really feature any. Like, okay, Umbrella's a thing, the T virus is a thing, but. Like, none of the characters from the games are in that movie, but it's, like, it's decent enough that you can let it go. I think the second one, yet, yeah, at least it gets a little bit, it brings in characters from the games, at least. You could at least consider it a, a light adaptation of Resident Evil 3. And I think by the kind of cor try course correct in the fourth one by actually bringing in Chris Redfield, and the funniest part is, the funniest part was how they introduced Chris in that movie. They get... What's that guy's name? Wentworth Miller. Wentworth, yeah, they get Wentworth Miller, and they inter and they introduce him in a prison cell. Of course they did. Hey, can you tell we watched Prison Break? I'm uh, I'm drawing uh, Albert Fauci. <laughs> oh, no. And I think oh. in the and I think in the fifth one, they actually bring in Wesker. Yeah, I think. Uh, Wesker was introduced earlier, but like he was played by someone else. 
He's played by Jason Mara at first, and then Sean Roberts later. Yeah, I think Sean Roberts looks closer to him. Yeah. Have you seen what he looks like now? I have not. He's really jacked. He's, like, huge. Sean Roberts? Yeah. He looks like he could be Henry Cavill's stunt double. I just want to play with my custodies. But yeah, I still stand by when I said, like, he at least looked like Wesker. Yeah. Wentworth Miller looks nothing like Chris Redfield. They just brought him in because Prison Break was popular at the time. Yeah. I think, um... Uh... What's his name? Robbie Amell. Yeah. I think he's... He's a pretty good uh, Chris in the, the newer movie. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot they made a new Resident Evil movie. We don't talk like about... Him. What are you talking about? We, um... There isn't a uh, new Resident Evil movie. No. No, no. It was... Let me guess, was it really bad? It was pretty we... bad. What are you talking about? It, it would be pretty bad, hypothetically, if such a film existed. Hypothetically, for the purposes of our game. <laughs> okay, to bring you back to the first game, do you guys know that there was a commercial shot and directed by George Romero? Yes. I know all about that. <laughs> I did not know that. Biohazard 2. I think there was even a lost script for the second movie that was supposed to be directed by George Romero 2. Or was it the first yeah, one? Like, I, don't, uh, I don't remember. Uh, uh, yeah, or yeah, he was going to direct, direct a Resident Evil film, right? Uh, and apparently they they didn't like his script, so they scrapped it. And it's like, are you kidding me? Look, I I gave a uh, Chris a. Uh... <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Do you think George Romero just really loved making zombie movies, or do you think he got pigeonholed because he made one like really successful one, and then? He was just the zombie movie guy. Uh, he did he did the first Creep Show, which was really good. That's true. Yeah. He also did the I think he did the original Crazies, which I've heard was good too. Although that's just that's basically zombies, but instead of them being undead, they're just they're just people who've gone completely nuts. Yeah. yeah so he likes the concept enough to do it in different variations. <laughs> Oh, I just fo I found an article talking about why his why his script never made it. Apparently, his initial screenplay stayed pretty faithful to the game's narrative, but producers thought his first draft was too violent. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And what movie were you under the impression that you were making? Exactly. <laughs> Clearly, a uh, Mega Man movie or I some see. shit. Ah, oh, well, I can see the mix-up. It's pretty easy to confuse the two. <laughs> I mean, Mega Man, Resident Evil, Ace uh, Attorney, they're all basically the same. Not even uh, like, Romero's zombie movies aren't even the most violent ones you can find in the genre. Have you ever seen, uh... It's an Italian one, Zombie 2, I think? Yeah, which was an unofficial, uh, sequel. Yeah, yeah. it's... But no, it's a but no, it's a completely unrelated movie. It's from a but yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah. But yeah, it's an Italian zombie movie that is probably a lot more gory than anything Romero made, and that's saying something. There we go, man. Mandela catalog alternate. Fucking annoying. What's her face? I don't fucking a remember her name. Ashley. <laughs> Ashley, yeah. I kind of want to draw. Al uh, Albert Wesker simping over Rebecca Chambers. Uh, if you do like some kind of bullshit with uh, Wesker's desk, right? You can open it, uh, and you can. He has a picture of Re Rebecca Chambers from Resident Evil One and Zero, like in his desk. Really? Yeah. It's. Uh, Rebecca actually had a pretty decent game in Resident Evil Zero. She's probably my favorite Resident Evil waifu, honestly. <laughs> like, I don't know why, I just have the hots for Rebecca Chamber. 
I just realized we do not have anything with Leon or Jill. Well, technically, the first thing drawn here was a picture of Jill, technically, but in the form of a sandwich. You know, I have to wonder if that line's just... if that's just a mistranslation, or if that's actually what's said in the original Japanese. Oh, oh, fun fact. There was originally going to be a uh, Japanese dub for the first Resident Evil, but get this. Uh -huh. They didn't do it because it sounded too bad. Seriously? Yes. They decided not to give it a Japanese dub because it was just that bad. Wow. So in Japan, it's just what? Subtitled? Uh, well, yeah, in English with maybe s uh, subtitles, yeah, I think. At least in English, they won't be able to tell how bad it is. What up, 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 up? Zeno, what are you doing? Go on. No, oh no, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Nothing bond worthy. I see what you're doing, Zeno. Mm hmm. You like it? I don't want us to get demonetized, Zeno. <laughs> we already are, dude. You already <laughs> drew Fauci. Well, our, our band at this point. It's not even like we have a stream that can get dropped. <laughs> okay. What do they have left? If Xenos is telling the truth that this is not going to get us demonetized, that this is not band worthy, then I'll just have to cleverly edit around it. Are you drawing Leon even more depressed, Dylan? E yes, evil Leon. I made his hair too big. He looks like a, he, has, he had a Karen haircut. Buto Bone in the Apocalypse. In the Apocalypse. <laughs> Pock Pockalypse? Yes. I just understood the implications of that now. There we go. <laughs> now we're good. <laughs> I I just I just imagine I, I just have the image of Leon being like Head, so I just made his images of these people, cartoon characters, like, having him mispronounce Apocalypse. Uto Bone and the Pockpocalypse. Ada or Claire? Ada, hot, plus, backstabby, minus. Claire, cute, plus, Chris's manifesto, minus. <laughs> That is a legit conundrum. Ada or Claire? Okay, is that you, Dylan? Yes. Oh, it's Ashley again. She's like, but what about me? Minus, mid, other minus, very annoying. God damn it, Zeno! I <laughs> love this so much, but I also hate it. Now to widen into cartoonish proportions. Wait, is this Mr. X? Yes. Is he gonna be like the wide Putin? Oh no! <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Do we have to bring DMX into this? He's gonna it looks like you're. <laughs> He's gonna give it to you. <laughs> Okay, I, I want to draw Mr. X, but but he looks like uh, T.J. Kirk. Uh, oh no! <laughs> God, that's gonna be cool. Well, I mean, are you gonna go all the way with the banana? I guess we might as well. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I'm drawing Giga Chad Chris. <laughs> this is not the first time we've drawn Giga Chad. It's probably yeah. actually the probably like the third time yes like we collectively yeah I think like this is like the third time we've had a giga chad and it was uh... a okay, so colors are red blue and green wait what I was trying to remember what the herb colors were red this was purple. red blue and green yeah are these herbs being rolled into a joint, Neville? Yes! <laughs> Use your imagination, they're just lined up on a piece of paper. Where they go next is up to you. <laughs> I'll, I'll continue the bloodline, Claire. <laughs> okay, I think we've filled it out enough, what do you guys think? 
Wait. I think I have room for one more little drawing. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Tastefully censored by Leon. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I think now we're filled out. <laughs> and so is Claire. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no.